Yeah. Yung first the part sa, ka, sa career mo so far, when do you think you sparkled the most? Like, natapos na na projects na nagawa mo. And then, ngayon, ang nasa GMA 7 ka, bibigyan ka nila ng wish list kunwari. What kind of project or campaign or show would that be? Na sa tingin mo, magsasparkle ka the most. Okay. okay. Um, so I think po so far, yung mga nagawa ko or na-achieve ko po sa career na to, uh, where I think I sparkled the most was when I went to Abu Dhabi for Now United Bootcamp. Kasi una po, yun po yung first uh, international na experience ko din na uh, um, after po nung manalo ako sa Idol Philippines. And I think yung um, opportunity po and yung on her ba na madala ko yung bansa din po natin kasi I represented Philippines po doon is really um, a big thing for me. And I hope I was able to to show yung ating culture and yung yung talents na na sino showcase ng Pilipinas and as a Filipina singer po. So ayun po. Ngayon naman po if may wish list nga. Ang hirap po kasi um for me nasa sa akin din po yun na kung talagang maibibigay ko po yung best ko sa opportunity or project na maibibigay nila sa akin. Right now, um, since focus ko po is singing, siguro um, to be able to collaborate with all the uh, singers po na dream kong makasama, I think um, kahit pa paano po ma ma masasabi ko na magsasparkle pa rin dahil <laughs> I don't know how to explain it po ng sobra pero any any project po na maibibigay sa akin, I would be so grateful at tatanggapin ko po ng buong buo. And I will do my best para mag-sparkle. Ayan, thank you. We're looking forward to the next projects. Um, second question, fun question lang. Kasi being in the music industry, yung dominating sound right now is K-pop, K-pop. Do you think that's a genre where you can find yourself, like, you know, express good music? Um, I think... Wala po masama if ma-explore yung mga iba't ibang genre ng music and of course I'm also open po na itry yung mga bago na, na genre. Lalo na po ngayon na parang nag-transition din po yung image and yung, um, yung um, like style ko sa music. So uh, yeah, not impossible po. Okay. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you po. Thank you, MJ De Leon. Of course, eto naman. Let's now call on uh, Miss Kate Adahar from Random Republica. Miss Kate. Thank you. Uh, congratulations, Zephany. Um, we've you. seen your journey no, from The Voice to Idol Philippines. Ngayon, nakikita namin a more confident Um What do you think contributed to that um, confidence? Um... I think kasabay na din po yun nung pag-turn pag ko ng 19 this year na mahirap po din para sa akin na yung maging sobrang confident kasi mahiyain naman po talaga ako but of course sa industry po na to kailangan mo talaga ma-develop yung, yung personality mo and kung wala ka rin confidence, enough confidence po I think hindi rin po ako magiging able to, to showcase what I have so um, part din po nito yung mga tao na nasa paligid ko kung paano sila sumusuporta at kung paano nila ako minamotivate at ini-inspire na maging kung sino po ako ngayon. Kaya napakalaking bagay po na isurround yung sarili mo ng mga taong alam mo makakabuti para sa'yo. Thank you. And last na, if you can express your feelings right now through a song, Actually, the the two songs po na I just sang, yung po yung mga kanta talaga na nagde-describe ng feeling and ng, ng parang na-experience ko po right now. This is my now kasi um, ito na po yung uh, another start or a new beginning, a new chapter, a new journey for me na na talagang nag-take kami ng risk and also yung faith na dito din po. At home kasi 
It's a new home, and a home is where you also feel loved po and inspired, and that's what I'm feeling right now. Kaya, this is why now and home. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you po.